This is a breadboard. But I think I don't really want to talk about this breadboard right now. But I will talk about this breadboard. Wait, wait. But why these things have the same name? Hmm. Back in the day, people used the real breadboard to make a temporal circuit for prototyping. They used breadboard and screw to make a circuit faster and without soldering so it will easy to change the circuit. But honestly, I don't really know that because back in the day, I'm not born yet. So what is an a breadboard? This thing is invented to make easier process when we do a prototyping and experimenting. It's actually just connect dots in the board. So for example, this is the most usual breadboard. At the top and bottom, we have two columns that horizontally connect until the center of breadboard. So everything that plug in a red box, they all connected. Same with the blue box. Everything that plug in a blue box is connected. This red and blue box usually used for power source. That's why there is a plus sign and minus sign at the edge of this breadboard. So now we can put for different power source. If your projects need more than one voltage supply, you can use this. For example, if we want to use 12 volt power supply and 5 volt power supply. Now move to the center. Different with top and bottom, these holes are connected vertically until the center of the breadboard. There is a gap there. So first, holes from A is connected to B, C, D, and E. And so with the second, third, fourth, and so on, they all connected vertically. And the holes at F, J, H, I, G is all connected too. So now we know that every holes in yellow box are connected horizontally and holes in green box are connected vertically. And the center gap is designed for integrated circuit or IC. And if someday you want to make a project that complex enough so this one breadboard is doesn't fit anymore, you can always add more breadboard and easily connect them. A breadboard is designed to easily connect with another. And if you don't need the power lines, you can always take it out. So it will only expand the holes for a component. Breadboard is also designed with an adhesive material under the board, so it will easy to stick this board to your project. In case you are wondering what's inside a breadboard, let's just open this adhesive paper under the board. And we can see that it is just metal strips that plug to the plastic board. The strips are arranged horizontally at power lines. And for this, they are arranged vertically. To connect between holes, you can use a solid wire cable like this. Use the solid core cable only. If you use the stranded wire, it will be so hard to plug the cables to holes.
or you can use a mail jumper cable like this. But sometimes it doesn't really the best option to use these jumper cables if the circuit is complex enough because it will look so messy. Now you already know how this breadboard. Let's try use it. I have this very simple circuit. We will try to make this circuit on a breadboard. So the circuit is just an LED connected to 5V with a resistor. Wait, before we continue the video, you can make me really happy by subscribing to this channel and tap the bell so you won't miss new video from me. First thing, I will connect the power line to 5 volt and ground. I use an Arduino for a power source. The Arduino has 5 volt and ground output. You can use a battery or adapter as well. So now we have the 5 volt and ground at the power line of this breadboard. Remember the anode or positive LED is the longer lead. It can't be swept. Then I connect the resistor to 5V at the power line. And then connect the other lead of resistor to the LED. Remember that this part of the breadboard is connected vertically. So I just make sure that the resistor lead and LED lead is in the same column. So they are connected. Then I connect the cathode of the LED to the ground using a jumper wire. Now the LED is light up and we have successfully used a breadboard for the first time. Now let's try a bit more complex circuit. This is an LED flasher circuit with an 555 timer IC. Let's start. First, I put the IC here in the center gap and then I will start to connect the components from here. Top right corner of schematic, we have a 330 ohm resistor connected to 5V and LED, then the LED to pin 3 of the IC. Then we have pin 8 and 4 connected to 5 volt. And then 1K resistor connected from pin 4 to pin 7. A 10K resistor connected from pin 6 to pin 7 of the IC. You should be careful not to connect the lid that should not be connected. And then the capacitor connected to pin 1 and 2 of IC. Pin 1 to ground and I almost forgot to connect pin 2 to pin 6. Now connect the power source. I connect this power line to a 5 volt power supply. Okay, the LED is not flashing. Something went wrong. And here we go. I misplaced the LED cathode lead. It should be connected to pin 3, but instead I connect that to pin 2. So now you can see that the LED is flashing. 
So this is our second circuit with a breadboard. I think this is the end of this video and as usual don't forget to subscribe and tap that ring bell so it will encourage me to make more videos. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye.